What you see here is a really important organ because this organ, the pancreas, will not only help with digestion of foods, but it will also help to regulate your blood sugar levels. Now the pancreas is this long organ that you see here. It is one of those accessory organs, meaning that it supports everything that's happening in that digestive tube. It sits in the upper part of the abdomen, just behind the stomach. And the pancreas, as we said, does have a very important group of digestive functions. It secretes a group of enzymes, and these enzymes, simply just called pancreatic enzymes, will break down fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. So all of those dietary molecules. And the pancreas, when activated, sends out all of those enzymes into the duodenum, which is that first part of the small intestine. In the duodenum, whatever has come through from the stomach will now have this exposure to lots of, lots of enzymes that will hopefully just break everything down into their final little bits. We also have the pancreas producing hormones, as we said before. The pancreas produces two main hormones, the first is one you've probably heard of, this is insulin. Insulin has the effect that it lowers blood sugar levels when blood sugar levels become a bit high. So when blood sugar levels elevate, let's just say you've eaten a very carbohydrate rich meal, your blood sugar levels increase, the pancreas releases insulin which comes along and it pushes that down. We then get another hormone from the pancreas which does the exact opposite which is glucagon. Glucagon instead will increase blood sugar levels. When our blood sugar levels are low, it's released from the pancreas and it pushes that up. So the pancreas has a couple of interesting functions. Not only is it helping to break down and digest foods using pancreatic enzymes, but it also helps to regulate blood sugar levels.